Look, WIGAP's an accident and uh, we're, we're quite proud about that. Contacted a few local grassroots organisations, one in Malawi we formed a partnership with, another one in Ghana, and said, look, this is who we are, this is the skills we have. If, um, if you can use $50,000 directly, we can don donate straight to you. So then we needed a name and a bank account and a website. So it, uh, late 2008, WIGAP was conceived and uh, gave birth to this organisation. Yeah, social enterprise is a, a really interesting, uh, I guess, new asset class in the not-for-profit sector. So um, it's essentially a commercial approach to social problems. Really, I mean, the way it works for us is, you know, we don't rely on traditional forms of fundraising. So as a small not-for-profit, um, we don't exist of large government grants, um, nor do we have monthly donation programs or bequests. <laughs> So we really try and innovate. We come up with creative fundraising campaigns and social enterprises that um, are fundraising solutions for us. Um, so we love the fact that you know downstairs we've got Feast of Merit, which is uh, an amazing restaurant here on Swan Street, Richmond. We're, we're open seven days a week, breakfast, lunch, dinner. We have queues at the, at the door on weekends. Um, high demand for our product and service. Um, really built on a commercial business. And the, the virtue of the fact that it's owned by a not-for-profit wide gap um, is secondary. You know, first and foremost is a commercial asset that is operating with high performance, good staff, great chefs, great baristas. This whole new um, evolution of social entrepreneurship is just a new way that charities and budding social entrepreneurs uh, can create social change through a free market approach as opposed to a dependency um, traditional not-for-profit model. Look, the only advice I can give to anyone that's interested in um, throwing themselves in the not-for-profit sector, whether starting their own NGO, becoming a, a new social enterprise, is to really find what you're passionate about. We see probably the most enlightened, compassionate, dedicated, committed volunteers at WIGAP, those that reconnect with why we exist. I think a lot of people hesitate, they, they sort of stand on the edge, uh, they, they hold that pause button, but they don't throw themselves in. And there's an excuse or there's always something that's going to happen and so I've got to wait for this to happen. Just push that first door and once you do the second door will open and so will the third, fourth and fifth. Um, so find what you're passionate about and throw yourself in through that first door.